Welcome to a quick tasting to see if there's a difference between canned brew and bottled brew. I have my friend Preston here to help me with the tasting. New to the channel, new face mm -hmm. on the channel. And um, so the, the, the test here is real simple. I have a canned can of this specific mead. The same mead is also in this bottle. They're the same age. They're the exact same brew. The only difference is I put one in a bottle, one in a can. It's been four and a half months since I bottled these. So lots of time for things to happen. The, the question here is, can you taste a difference between a canned brew and a bottled brew? So we're gonna do three rounds, a triangle test here in a second. I'm gonna pour these and we can't see the bottom of them. Each round is gonna be uh, featuring two of one of these brews and one of the other. We're gonna taste them. And then we'll do a quick little decision on which one we think might be different. If there's anything different between these, then clearly there's some taste difference between the two. But if we fail the triangle test, then I think the data is that there's no perceivable difference between a canned brew and a bottle brew. So let's go ahead and pour them. All right, ready? This is round one, so don't look at the bottom. The bottom of these is a, and I'll show a picture for people, is a letter. So it's kind of blacked out, you can't see on here. Okay. The purpose is that when you look at the bottom, you see just black marker, but there is a letter underneath. I want you to mix and match around so that you have zero possible chance of knowing what is what. And they're all the same color, they all look the same. Yeah. There's no noticeable color difference. So, and they're all the same carbonation, should be. Are you ready? I think so. So, um, look, just taste through them a little bit and then in a moment we'll talk. Okay. And then, actually do this. We're gonna taste through. I want you to decide which one you think is different and then we'll talk. Okay. So here we go, do a little tasting. I'm not pranking you by the way. This is not a prank. You saw me pour two different things. I did. <laughs> right off the bat, there's not a noticeable difference. Oh, you said to not talk yet. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. I don't know that I'm right. I'm putting what I think is different in front. Oh, God. <laughs> right off the, okay, okay, all right. All right, all right. All right. so. Okay. You think that one's different, I think this one's different. Let's go ahead and reveal and then we can talk about what you, what might have led you there or anything. So in this round there should be, if I'm not mistaken, I got it, this is a B that I put up front. This is a B. Okay, there are two Bs and an A. So we did not, mm. catch it. we didn't catch it. So the, the A snuck through, which right now y'all can see what the A is on screen. And B, I'll put, I'll put them both up there so you know. But we did not get it, round one, did not get it. Now, I felt a little bit like I was taking a stab in the dark. I did too. The only reason I picked this one was because I was like, maybe it's like a little brighter, but like, yeah. I also, they all still taste so similar. So, at first, so this is, I, I'm pretty, this was the order I had it in. Uh huh. And when I first did these two, which this is, this is a B and this is an A. Yeah. They taste exactly the same. Like, and I was like, okay, this one will taste different. And then it didn't. If anything, this was like the carbonation was a little different. Mm. Um, but at first, I put this one up because it got flatter quicker oh, when it yeah. was out of, right. I guess, the can in this, if it's an A, whatever it was. It was out of whatever was different. It, it got flatter quicker because when I went back through, these were, had a noticeable difference. So. Well, let's see, the others, let's go to the next round. These have been sitting for a while, so the carbonation might be coming down. We'll see. Yeah. All right, round two, triangle test number two. We're 0 for 1 my so far. My confidence is definitely a lot lower. Oh, see, I was gonna say maybe I could get it this time, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know either. Here we go. My hypothesis. I'm doing this hand, this hand as well. Um, I don't know if they're again. I, I'm going backwards this time. I feel like two of these were darker tasting than the other ones. Yeah. And but I don't know for sure. And 
You've drank a lot more mead than I have, yeah. so you probably can tell the difference a lot better than I can. My my thing was the carbonation. Yeah. Immediately, like I I took this and it was like, boom. And then these two were a lot more. I mean, they weren't flat. They were just less carbonated. Yeah. Well, let's see if your if our hypothesis is true. This is a B. Oh, this is a B. Okay. Mm. I believe these are two A's. No. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This was a one A and two B's. Wow. <laughs> Man. That's uh, crazy. I, for the longest time, I've always heard. Like, carbonation goes away faster? Carbonation goes away faster in a bottle. Oh. Than in a can. It's oh, more carbonated yeah. in a can. Yeah. But, oh man. Okay. Well, we got one more round. <laughs> All right, Preston, we are 0 for 2. I don't know what's real anymore. That's what, what's, what's real? All right, let's mix them up. Maybe, surely, third time around, we can we can get this. I think, I'm, I think so. I feel good. I feel some good. people are going to yell at me because we've been talking about it. Some, they're going to be like, In order to do a real triangle test, you shouldn't talk at all. Let's well, make a very good YouTube video. Whatever. You try making a YouTube channel. Anyway. All right, you ready? Round three. Round three. I think I have my guess, but I don't know if it's a fair guess. I think I do too. Did you cheat? Oh, one of them looks different. Mm -hmm. So I think the only way I've known of making my guess is because... Well, actually, these two, I don't know. I still could be wrong. It could have just been the port. This one's a little hazier than these two. Uh, other than that, taste-wise, it's no, virtually no change. So I paid closer attention this time. Okay. And I now hold, I didn't even notice that, but now holding up the glass, I can see that the one I chose is a little more hazier. Yeah. But if you said, now is it from a bottle or a can? Right. Oh, if, no. these were, if that one different. was the same clarity, same visibility. Yeah. I don't know, let's see. This is a B. This is a B. So these two are A's, yeah. Okay. I think the only thing that proves there is, I mean, this is, the, the I chose mine because it's totally hazy. Yeah. There's like, there's no factor of taste here. So again, I feel like I cheated a little bit with that. Um, there's same thing. There's definitely not like a difference with like Dr. Pepper and Diet Dr. Pepper. Right. There's not a noticeable difference there in bottle or can. There's Right. Well, and this is a carbonated mead. This is a hopped mead, and I don't think that necessarily plays much into this. You're not going to can a, uh, a still mead, you know, mm -hmm. something like this. What I'm gathering from this test is that I'm not going to be afraid to can my stuff. Um, a lot of people are afraid to can their brew and leave it for a long time because of possible taste differences. Now, I don't know. This is, again, at like a four or five month standpoint. This is not a year. I'm sure there maybe there's a difference at a year at 12 months you start to detect some other things but I yeah. don't perceive any differences um, at this point I'd be curious to hear if anybody's test, tested this as well but in my opinion this canning canning versus bottling can you taste the difference I don't think you can I don't think you can I think it gives me a lot of clear uh, a clarity and with my friends making fun of me for getting a can or for yeah. with a bottle, and they're like, how could you get a bottle that's so much better than a can? Yeah. Now I know that I can say, you're full of it. There you go. Absolutely no. full of it. Take, take the information and run with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you for being part of this tasting, Preston. Thank you. This is delicious as always. <laughs> if you enjoyed the song that was uh, played in the background here, that was done by Preston himself, and we are... Going to be making a mead eventually based off said song because it was called Pineapple Tree. So we're, we're going to make a pineapple tree mead. So very excited. that'll be the outro to this too. You can enjoy it as uh, as we roll the credits. So yep. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>